To answer your question quickly, here's a list of programming languages you should learn based on your specific interests. But if you don't know what field of programming you want to get into, then my personal recommendation would be JavaScript due to its sheer flexibility in being able to do pretty much anything. One of the questions I get asked the most, especially in my TikTok, is what programming language should I learn first? And there is no right or wrong answer, you can start programming with pretty much any language. But there are some languages that are suited better to different fields of programming. For example, web development is best suited with JavaScript, Android development is best suited with Kotlin, and so on and so forth. But there are so many programming languages, some of them being more beginner friendly than others. So what I want to do is I want to give you my personal recommendations on which programming languages you should learn based on specific interests, based on the field of programming that you want to get into. Without further ado, let's dive in. So the first field that I want to get into is web development, because this is one of the most common in the ecosphere and it is always in high demand. And for this, it is pretty much uncontested that JavaScript is the programming language you should get into. It's not the only programming language that you can use for web development, but it is the primary one used by both beginners and professionals in the field. Bearing in mind that if you learn web development, you would also have to learn HTML and CSS as well, but both of those aren't exactly programming languages in their own right, and both of those are also very easy to learn alongside JavaScript. So don't get worried about the fact that you're learning three different languages, because two of them aren't even languages, two of them are very easy, and JavaScript is the only real programming language that you'd have to learn. For mobile development, you would go one of two ways. If you want to learn Android development, then you would want to use Kotlin. And if you want to learn iOS development, then you would want to use Swift. The interesting thing about mobile development is Kotlin and Swift are both relatively new languages used for both Android and iOS development respectively. Until a few years ago, Java was the main language used for Android development and Objective-C was the main language used for iOS development. But right now, you would only see Java or Objective-C in legacy code of both of their platforms. So if you want to be competitive in the new mobile development ecosphere, then you would want to learn either Kotlin or Swift. For game development, the best thing to learn as a beginner is C Sharp, as this is the language used with the Unity game engine. There are other game engines you can use, for example Unreal Engine, which uses C++, but C++ is not a very beginner-friendly language, while C Sharp it pretty much is, and you can develop some great games with Unity and C Sharp. If you want to get into backend development, which is essentially developing the code that runs on servers, the code that does most of the heavy lifting and complex logic, then the best language to learn as a beginner is Python. Python is a very easy language to learn, it's one of the easiest, and many professionals really like Python because it's just very quick to build products using Python compared to any other language. Not to mention, it's very powerful for a number of things, including machine learning and data science. And up until recently, Python is what I would tell everyone to learn as their first language because of how easy it is to learn and how much you can do with it. Like I said, you can do machine learning, you can do data science, and you can develop very quick and efficient backend code. However, the reason I started recommending JavaScript more than Python is because Python is not very good on the front end. Python is not very good for anything that would require a UI, a user interface, things like web development or mobile development. While technically it's possible to do these things with Python, it's just not very good at it. And this is why I started recommending JavaScript more. However, if you were to learn Python as your first language, then this is still a very powerful language to utilize in your tool belt for your entire programming career, and it does fall as one of my biggest recommendations. Going back to my previous point, if you want to learn one language for its versatility, for its ability to do pretty much anything, then JavaScript is the one to go for. JavaScript, as we covered before, is great for web development, it's great for making websites, 
However, JavaScript is also very commonly used for backend code. It's also commonly used on the cloud and a little bit niche, but I believe JavaScript can also be used for game development as well. Maybe just don't learn JavaScript if you want to do game development specifically. But if you want to learn a one be all language, then JavaScript is just the most versatile one. Big recommend. Just know that when you are getting into programming, there is no wrong language to learn. In fact, it's better to jump straight into learning a language that you have an interest in rather than thinking about, oh, what's the best language for this and that. What is important is as you learn how to program, you're going to develop soft skills, you're going to develop the mindset of a programmer. And once you have this mindset, it becomes really easy to learn pretty much any other language that you want to on the spot. It would only take you a few days, a couple weeks at max to learn another language after you have the mindset of a programmer. Okay, so if you've decided your first programming language, you might be wondering now, how do I start learning my first programming language? And I want to tell you that this is the next video that I'm planning. So if you're interested in that, then consider subscribing to the channel. This video is sort of my return to YouTube after a couple years of not doing it and only doing TikTok for the past year. And I want to do more programming content like this one, answering your questions as someone who's getting into programming. So I hope this video helped and I'll see you all next time.